Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you the best 50 tips and tricks for your new Apple Watch Series 5. Hey there, and before we begin this video, my name is Sergio with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do tech reviews and tutorials. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. Hit that bell to receive notifications on my future videos. And let's get right to the video now. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best 50 tips and tricks so you can get the most out of your Apple Watch Series 5. So let's begin with number one. So a new feature that this Apple Watch Series 5 is going to come with is going to be always on display. What this is going to do is basically that even if you're not tapping the screen on your Apple Watch or if you're not twisting your wrist, it's going to show the little clock and also the complications on your Apple Watch. This is how it looks when it's turned on. And now in a little seconds, it's going to turn off, but it's still going to show the time that is going to be the always on display and if you don't like the setting all you're going to have to do is go to your watch app and once you're there you're going to go all the way down to display and brightness where you'll be able to see here always on once you're there you're going to have the option activated but if you don't want it all you have to do is deactivate the toggle and now your apple watch is not going to turn on as you can see right now unless you get a notification or you just twist your wrist by just going to the settings on your Apple Watch, as you can see that I'm doing right now, I'm gonna head to my settings and once I'm there, I'm gonna go to display and brightness and I'm gonna go to always on and I'm just gonna either activate it or deactivate it depending on what you wanna do. On this same menu, you're gonna have how to change the brightness on your Apple Watch by just going up and you're gonna see brightness. You can either make it look brighter or less bright as you can see that I'm doing right now. And you can also change the text size by just going a little bit down and you're going to see here text size and you just make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want it to do. This Apple Watch is also going to come with a compass pre-installed in the system and it's pretty accurate. All you have to do is go to your apps and you're going to see it right here and it's going to show you whether you're going to north, northwest, south or west. It's pretty accurate. Now, let's say that your Apple Watch lets you know whenever 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or maybe an hour are passed because you're timing something. All you're going to have to do is go to your phone settings. Once you're in your phone settings, you're going to go all the way down to accessibility, and then you're going to see the word chimes. Once you're in there, you're going to enter to that menu, and it's going to give you the option to schedule for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or maybe an hour. You just select, and then you also select the sound, and you can pick between either bells or birds. Next up, we're going to have fall detection. What this is going to do is basically whenever you fall and you have no reaction, your Apple Watch is going to send you vibrations and if you don't respond, it's going to automatically call the emergency number and also let know to your emergency contacts. And you can activate it by going to your app and then you're going to go all the way down to emergency SOS. And once you're in there, you're going to see fall detection right here and you're going to activate it. And here it's going to tell you how it's going to initiate emergency SOS if you take a hard fall and don't seem to move. And before the call, Apple Watch will alert you. It has detected a fall and if you don't respond to it, it will tap your wrist, sound an alarm and then call emergency services. Another really useful feature is going to be how to delete the apps that you don't want on your menu. And to do this, all you have to do is go to whichever app and long press it until it's going to show a little X just like the iPhone does. And once you're there, you just have to press that X and confirm if you wanted to delete the app or not. Now, let's say that you're in a meeting and you're getting a lot of notifications and you don't want your Apple Watch to make any noise. All you have to do is cover it for three seconds and then it's going to send a vibration to your wrist and then it's not going to ring for any notification that's coming up. And to do this, you're going to have to go to your Apple Watch app and once you're there, you're going to go all the way down to where it says sounds and haptics. Once you're in there, you're going to activate cover to mute. Once you do this, it's going to tell you that when this is on and you receive an alert, you can mute Apple Watch by resting your palm on the display to cover it for at least three seconds. And then you will feel a tap to confirm that mute is enabled. Another really useful feature is that if you press the screen with two fingers, it's going to speak the time. 2.12 p.m. Just as just happened now. This Apple Watch is going to bring this new feature that whenever you just go to the calculator and you enter the amount or the total of your order, all you have to do is press this little part where it says tip and it's going to automatically tell you the 20%. And if you want to give less than that, all you have to do is use your crown and lower the percentage onto whatever you see fit. 
Another feature that your compass is going to bring is going to be the ability of test the stability of any object. By just going all the way down on the app, you're going to have here incline numbers and it's going to tell you how inclined whatever object it is. You just put your watch on top of it and then it's going to tell you the inclination. Now, let's say that your Apple Watch has a passcode, but you don't want to spend all your time on entering that passcode. You have an option called Unlock with iPhone. So basically, whenever you have your Apple Watch on your wrist and you unlock your iPhone, as you can see that I'm going to do now, it's going to automatically unlock your watch as well, as just happened now, without having to enter any password. To activate the feature, all you have to do is go to your Apple Watch app and go to Passcode. Once you're in there, you're going to activate the option that is going to say Unlock with iPhone right here, and that is going to do the job for you. The Apple Watch is also going to help you find your phone whenever you lost it. All you have to do is go to your control center, and once you're in your control center, you're going to go to this phone right here, and you're going to press it. That is going to automatically put a noise on your phone so you can find it. And if you long press, you also have the option to turn on the flashlight. On your Apple Watch, you will also be able to take screenshots by your pressing the crown and the block button right here. As you can see, it's going to take the screenshot, but you're going to have to activate the setting by going once again to your app. Once you're in your Apple Watch app, you're going to go all the way down to general and then you're going to go to enable screenshots. On the Apple Watch, you will also have the weather app. And by going to the weather app and also most of other apps, by long pressing, you're going to have these options where you can see percentage of rain, condition of the weather, and also the temperature outside. The Apple Watch is also going to let you rearrange the layout of your phone by just hard pressing on the screen and it's going to tell you if you want it in the grid view or maybe on the list view. On the Apple Watch, you're also going to have an option to see your, all your recent apps by just hitting the power button that is going to be right here on the side. You just press it and it's going to show you all the recent apps on your Apple Watch. And you will also have the option to close these apps by just swiping to the left. It's going to show you this little X and you just press it and it's going to close the app. And you also have the option to change the watch faces by just swiping to the left or to the right as you can see that I'm doing right now. If you long press and go all the way into the back, you will have an option to add new watch faces as you can see right here. On the control center, you also have different options that are going to be really useful. For instance, we're going to have right here, we're going to have the theater mode. And what this is going to do is basically turn off all the notifications for when you're in a movie or maybe watching a play. You also have the option of do not disturb and you can pick if you want it for an hour until this evening or just forever until you decide to stop it. And you're also going to have the water mode. And what this is going to do is basically lock the screen so nothing can be done. If you're about to go for a swim, the water won't be able to mess up with the screen. And the way to unlock it is going to be by rolling up with a crown. Now, let's say that maybe your Apple Watch got stuck and you want to force restart it. All you're going to have to do is long press the crown and also the power button at the same time. And just press it onto the screen shuts off. And then it's going to show the Apple and you're just going to let go and just wait for your Apple Watch to start again. And you can also force close an app by just long pressing the block button. And then once you see this menu right here, you're going to long press the crown and it's going to take you out of the app automatically. Also, whenever you get a notification, you can just simply dismiss it or reply by just pressing these two buttons. And also you can check your notification center and whenever you want to delete the message or the notification, you just swipe to the left and go to the EX. Also, whenever you're about to reply and you don't have time to type, you have an option to just use the ones that are already default, but you can also add more to the list. And you can do that by once again going to your Apple Watch app and then you're going to head all the way down to where it says messages. And once you're in there, you're going to go to default replies and then you're going to add right here, add reply. And you can just add whatever reply you want and now it's going to show on your menu. As you can see right now, I have the new one that I just wrote. I just selected and it's going to automatically send. On the Apple Watch app, you can also select the contacts for the emergency calls. As you can see right here, you can just go to the menu, head to emergency. And once you're there, you're going to go to edit emergency contacts in medical ID. And then you have to register and do all the process to add contacts to that list. You just go all the way down. As you can see here, add emergency contact and you just select whichever contact you want. 
and also straight from the app you can go to the heart option right here and you can set up your ECG in health and you can do this by also going to your Apple watch and going to the heart right here as you can see and once you set it up it's going to tell you your resting rates it's also going to tell you heart rate at the moment and also your sessions and also if you want to activate the emergency SOS by your own all you have to do is long press the power button and it's going to give you this power off menu and also the emergency SOS so you just slide and that's going to be it and also you can power off the Apple watch from this menu right here and you can also set a photo as your watch face by just going to that picture that you want to use for example i'm going to use this one right here and i'm just going to long press and it's going to tell you create watch face you select it and you either pick photos or kaleidoscope and then it's going to create the watch face as you can see right now it has a date the time and also the picture also sending messages is going to be super easy you just have to go to the message app and long press once you're there you're going to select new message and also once you're in message you get to pick if you want to send the message by voice note by just making the letters or maybe sending the heart rate or just an emoji as you can see right there on the apple watch you can also customize the control center by just swiping up and going all the way down to edit and that way you can move the icons to whatever place you want to by just switching them like this Another really cool trick on your Apple Watch app is going to be nightstand mode which basically is going to set your Apple Watch to a nightstand clock. And you just do this by going to the app, going to general and once you're there you're going to go to nightstand mode. When you activate it, all you have to do is take off the Apple Watch and put it to charge. And as you can see right now the Apple Watch is going to work as a nightstand watch. Something about your Apple Watch that some of you may not know is that your Apple Watch can work as a camera shutter button. All you have to do is find the camera app and once you do it, you just press on it and it's going to automatically connect your camera to the one in your phone as you can see now. And to take the picture, all you're going to have to do is press here and now your phone is going to automatically take the picture. On the Apple Watch app, you can also pick how loud you want the sounds on your Apple Watch to sound whenever you receive a notification. And you do this by going to sounds and haptics and then here you select if you want it to sound prominent, like that, or default. On the Apple Watch, you also have the option to use it as a walkie-talkie by just going to the app. And here's going to tell you that you can talk with friends, Apple Watch to Apple Watch by just setting up a contact, sending an invitation, and just activate it or deactivate it. Also, right here from the apps menu, you can connect to a Wi-Fi without having to get into your phone by just going to your settings. And once you're in your settings, you're going to go to Wi-Fi right here and you can select the proper Wi-Fi network that you want to connect to. The Apple Watch is also going to let you listen to podcasts as you can see right now. You just have to get into the app and then wait for it to load. And once the app loads, you'll be able to pick whichever podcast you want to use. And if you go to your control center, you will be able to see that there is a little flashlight icon. And if you press it, it's going to turn your Apple Watch into a flashlight. You can either make it this way, you can set it up this way, or you can also set it up this way. Another really cool thing that you can do from the Apple Watch app, it's going to be check your storage and also your usage of the Apple Watch by just going to general and you just go to about. And here you're going to see the capacity and also the space that you have available on your phone. And if you go all the way down, you're going to see usage and you just go there and right there, you're going to see all the space that all these apps are using on your Apple watch as well. Also, whenever you're getting a call, you have the option on these three buttons right here to press it and ask if you wanted to answer on the iPhone. And that will basically put them on hold until you can find your phone and actually answer right from it. And you can also jump between the apps that you have open on your Apple Watch by just double pressing the crown on the watch. The Apple Watch also gives you the freedom to select which notifications you want to show on the Apple Watch. By just going to the Apple Watch app, you have to go to notifications and once you're there, you're going to select all the apps that you want to get notifications from and which ones you don't. You just select whichever app you want to get notifications from. And you also get access to Siri by just pressing the crown on the watch. 
also another really cool feature that is going to be on your calendar you just have to get into that app and long press on the screen and it's going to give you these several options where it's going to display all your activities registered on the calendar you can make it look as a list right here on day or today and last but not least we also can customize the complications on whatever watch phase you want for example here we have music and if you long press on it you will be able to customize as you can see right now you just have to swipe to the right or left and it's going to give you all the options of everything that you can customize on your watch face so those were the best 50 tips and tricks for your apple watch series 5 if this video helped you out don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on which trick was your favorite and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this i'll see you in the next video